Hi, kisses. Today we have Lavish Lady. Yeah, I know her Instagram. <laughs> She's actually a bartender here at G5. You guys rarely ever hear her speak because of the um, the audio, but we're going to get right into it. You ready? I am. All right, we're going to say a quick grace. Ready? Yeah. Amen, y'all. Let's get into it. Shoot, I'm hungry. I'm Girl. excited. <laughs> you going? Y'all know the lemon pepper all flats, okay? Oh, you want to do flats? <laughs> yes. Why is that? I don't know. I just feel like flats are like... More fun? I don't know. It's lovely. <laughs> Girl, I'm so hungry. I'm so sorry. I like literally kept her waiting because today we created multiple eating shows. So we also did Mrs. Tanya's eating show. So mm -hmm. I was like, gotta, gotta, gotta get all this done. You want ketchup? I feel like... Mm -mm. Okay. I feel like um with the drums, it's like I don't like big chickens. Like oh, you like the little chickens? chickens. Yeah. Oh. Like even some fast if it has like too much air in it or like it's too big, I won't eat it. Oh, where you a picky eater? Mhm. Mm do you finish? Do you take it off the bone? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. They be like, oh, I'm gonna eat it. No, this mm -hmm. is eat all of that off. <laughs> you seen people do that before, girl? Yeah, I'm not one of those people. I have <laughs> buffalo. And lemon pepper mix, and she has just lemon pepper. And I got buffalo on the side. Mm. I'm so hungry. Listen. I know I'm starving. We're gonna do, do it. We're gonna do this this way. Okay. I got her. I said, can you give me cup. a big soda? You did what? I said I got her a big size cup. <laughs> I said I got you covered, girl. Look at him. You can have that. Mm. Are these your favorite wings? Yes. Lemon pepper. That's a thing, girl. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. We're hungry. Y'all gonna have to sit down with before we take that. Listen. Yeah. I was waiting like, oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. Oh, no. She was cheating. Keep it real. I had that three five. Yeah, she did. I'm like, no. Wait for the eating show. I met the waiting for Miss Tanya to get that. And I was like, let me just have like three. We are starving. <laughs> no, stop playing. Like legit. Mm. Yeah. Do you have any? What's the craziest thing that has happened to you as a bartender? Wait, have you ever danced before? You have? Yes, I used to be a stripper <laughs> in 2016 when I first moved to Miami. I didn't know that. I danced for a whole year. I danced for real? Here. Mm -hmm. I danced here. Strippers and wings, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm -hmm. How was? Where did you work? Here? But it was only on like big nights, like like I wouldn't be here like every day. All right, the like, special events. Every day, yeah. Like big events, I was there. Um, I used to dance at this club called Rolex Climax. Oh, I remember Rolex Climax mm -hmm. way back. Um, I danced at Playhouse. Oh, you did dance? Mhm. I used to dance everywhere, but like only in Miami though. How did you Pittsburgh. um? Are oh, you from Pittsburgh? Mhm. Mm How you got Pittsburgh? Why did you say how do I like it? How do you like it? Do you like it better than Miami? Do you no? I will be in Pittsburgh if I left the water Miami. But well, you never know. Miami's you could have ran away or something. Well, I didn't run away though. Girls have crazy stories nowadays, <laughs> girl. Mm -mm. They do. No, I have two parents. They were like in the book in my life and stuff. So, but I just didn't want to be broke. Gotcha. So I was eighteen. I I moved to Cleveland and was bartending underage illegally. Really? Yeah. Wait. But the owner. You can't bar You can bar at eight. You, you can bar You're really supposed to be bar at 21 because you can't have alcohol to the Oh, so they try to prevent you from. So, but you can technically legally work or no? Mm, not at all. It'll be like illegally, like under the table if you get paid type stuff. But the, the guy who hired me, it was his bar and he, like, I was already at a bar. So he figured that I was old enough. To and he just say, hired you and brought you, brought you over. Girl, you got away with murder. Were you making good money? Yes. And see, up north, like, your rent is so cheap. Like, I had a little midget apartment for $500 a month. Mm hmm Like, the rent is so cheap up there. Like, property is very cheap. Yeah, Why is north. that? Um, I don't know. Really? Like, down here, you won't get nothing for under $1,000. Oh, no, girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> and if you do, there's no bathroom that come with it. It's like a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to live there. But I ended up moving to Ohio. And then I met this NFL player. He played for the Browns. Started dating him for a year. How was then, that? Mm, I was 18, dating a millionaire. Like. It was an experience. <laughs> it was an experience to say the least. <laughs> it was an experience. Um, he, I, and we're still really good friends to this day, but we just didn't work out. I want kids. I don't have kids yet. He has How old are you? Already. 23. Oh, you're a baby. You got some. You got some yeah. time. 
I know, but like, I want kids in the future. So it's like, you don't want kids in the future. Oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't see us like. He didn't want no more babies. Yeah. Right, okay. I didn't see us breaking out together. So I broke up with him. And then I was already in Miami because he retired out here. Okay. So when he left, he moved to the DR, the Dominican Republic, and I just stayed. I was like, Miami's lit. And I started dancing. I'm staying. Oh, word. I gotta make money now. Mm-hmm. What? Dancing. Were you nervous? Yeah. Of, you were? Like, at first, I feel like, you know, like, because you don't know what You were thinking, in the, wait, were you a bartender at? No. It was a regular bar. Gotcha. But the bar that I used to bartend at brought in, like, the whole city. Because, like, it was like, everybody go there. So, it's closed down now, but it was called the Sunny Spot in Cleveland Heights. Um, But, yeah, I didn't know nothing about stripping. Who told you, like, who told you about it? How did you find out? What triggered the thought, like... I was like, um, I was 20 at the time. Okay. I got a hustle. How huh? I'm gonna live? Like. I well, who told it. you about it? Nobody. You just. I just did it. I'm like, I went to the strip club one day. Uh, no, no. Now who told you to go dance? How did you hear about strippers in the first place? Oh. Music video, CV, a movie, Instagram. I mean. Well, you have friends that did it. Not really, but like. I mean, like, you know, strip clubs have been around for years. So it's like, you right. know about, like, you know, you watch movies, like, have strip club scenes and stuff. Like, so, like, I know about it. I wasn't, like, dumbfounded towards it. Like, right. I used to say, like, oh, strippers are so disgusting. I would never be one. Da, 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 da. Really? And then look at it. Holy me. fuck. And, it's, and it's, it's, it, it, it's crazy. It's like, strippers are not the hoes. Like, it'd be the nurses, the... Girl, uh, the college and, students. The college students who really be the hoes out here. And it's like, strippers are actually the one of the most cleanest females that you would ever meet. Say it again, girl. Because like, they be watching their little nanas and yes, they be, co- like, they be cleaning that like cooking. Clean. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like everybody does this, like, strippers for like, oh, y'all are hoes, y'all shaking up for money, da 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 Right, but then you got the people going to college, get on, I know, try to go to school, trying to do all that stuff. And then, and then you put them in a regular right. bar. Mm-hmm. At yeah. a regular club, and they dropping their panties in two point three seconds. Two exactly. shots later, a pair of and rims. And they're, they're doing that for free, and they're everybody just looking at them. Girl, they did it for two shots Girl. and a pair of spinning rims. <laughs> just saying. Mm-hmm. But Miami is so lit, like for like strippers, because it's Miami. Like, just Miami is a hometown. Like, it's like. Girl, oh, I just found out that else. I just found out that you can't get nude in New York or Jersey. Yeah, oh, and that's not a strip club, really. That's not a strip club. Like it's only, I believe, like top off. I think. Yeah, it's like a titty that's bar. That's able to go. Yeah, like there's mm-hmm. no nudity, no none of that. G five, eighteen plus, all nude. You got to be twenty one to drink, but you can be all nude and work at a strip club, like mm-hmm. all of it. Um, you gotta say most of that because they don't get that at home. Like, they're looking for their fantasy girl, like, in a club. And then, like, you never know who you meet. I've met lawyers, doctors, like... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. NFL players. Even bartending. Like, I still, to this day, are leading, like, NFL guys and stuff like that. And it's, like... The bartenders get a lot more play than the dancers, though. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, guys don't want to dance. They just, like, want to talk to the bartender. Or, like, mm-hmm. they just, like, want to have a drink if they have a long day at work. So... Mm. If you're, like, a good bartender and you know how to communicate with your customers... They will keep coming back only for you. What's a good um, tip and trick that you can give, like, a new bartender? Um, it's, like, usually sometimes I'll bring money to the, the club so I can buy shots for people. So I'll be like, all right, what are you drinking for shot? It's on me. That gets them rolled in, like, because they're not used to girls offering to buy them drinks. Right, so or, or at all. So it's like, what, you going to buy me a drink? Yeah, like, you know, and then you'll get the next round. And, like, I can know this talk, keep on talking to him. Keep them happy. Make them spend money. We do. We are allowed to entertain our customers as well. Like, you know, we can't come from behind the bar, but we can twerk behind, behind the, the bar. And they will throw the money on, on you and stuff like that. So, What's the most you've made? They're going to ask this girl. What is the most you've made <laughs> as a dancer made, and as a bartender? As a dancer? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. The most I probably made was like 6000 in one night. Yes, baby. But money. It was so, like, you had to work for it like You're sweating. i really had to work for that money like it was a lot because it was like so many people were just there i was at playhouse actually and if you ever been past it's so small. small it's like really really tiny mm-hmm. so i was on like a little vip section up top like yeah it's things. super tiny and it's like when you're trying to dance 
and you're like so crowded, you can't really dance how you want to dance. You gotta like watch out for the people. You can't put your hands up too high. Right, you, you don't want to step up. on girls. Right. Because like, girls in the strip club with alcohol, yeah. It's gonna be a fight. <laughs> You took my man. I fought a few times in the club. Only time mm-hmm. I'm so I'm so small. Mm-hmm. So girls they will always try, try me. And it's like I'm the wrong one. That's very normal. The ones who are tiny, we know how to fight. Mm-hmm. How many fights have you been to? You think? And dancing, only mm-hmm. three. Okay, well, yeah, only three. You can count them. What about as a bartender? What the, what's the most you think you've made ever? Bartending wise, Super Bowl weekend that just passed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. How long have you been bartender? I've been bartending here for six months. Okay. Yeah. So. So you're new. But I had like I kind of had like, a week schedule, so I just came back on my own. Like I worked my own doubles because I like I'm like we all need money, so y'all make some money, I need money too. Right. So, How did you transition from dancing to bartending? Um, like what took place that made you switch up? Well, the boyfriend that I have now, okay. I met him stripping. Gotcha. So he was like a strip club junkie. <laughs> Fucked every stripper like he was like right. one of those guys but when i started dating him he was like oh like you know i don't feel comfortable with you getting naked in front of people like because you're my girl now okay. so i stuck out of the respect for our relationship right i got you and then for okay. two years i didn't work at all i was just being a housewife home cooking cleaning and it's like you meet guys like that in the club who really want to take care of a bitch like right he bought me a car it's paid off like it's oh, mine good. like i have a like a house in my name oh good good like, he's in jail now though so Oh no! But I'm sorry to hear that. He's still like being a man to me, like while he's in jail. But good. Everything is good though. I'm always talking. You just smash the food. <laughs> no, girl. I only had six wings, girl. You know I was starving. That's why I let you talk. Like, go I ahead. <laughs> don't feel pressure to finish your food on camera. It's cool. We be talking. That's how it will be at. You know what I'm saying? Strippers and wings. We be exactly. talking. But yeah, the um transition from me from dancing to bartender was kind of. I bartended before, so I okay. knew how to do it. But it's like the moment that you make dancing was like, dang. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I make you, but you've been taking care of, so, yeah, so it's it, like, it makes up for. It, 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 it was out for, it but was I out could for make, what you could make. Yeah, I, like I would go back to dancing. Like if I had to, I would. If you had to go back, you would. I it's would. always gonna be there. The club's always gonna be there. Yeah, like guys are always gonna want to see mm-hmm. people. Like yeah, us. and you're so <laughs> you're young, so trust me, and you're really really pretty. They're gonna be like all over that. Mm-hmm. You guys don't mind her broken nail because we talked all about her right, broken nail. Right, that's how shit. Cause... No, listen, because it be happening, okay? It be happening. But it never been really, really long like this, and it breaks so easily. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. don't do that. What's the scariest thing that has happened to you as a bartender? Like, you've been a It doesn't have to be here, just anywhere in general. Or that you've even witnessed as a bartender. Anything that spooked you? Nothing crazy? Nothing crazy. Okay, good. Dancing I mean, that's wise, not... yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Like what? Like, I had a customer who... Like, when you're dancing with, like, a, a guy, they're like, oh, like, you know, I want to see you at the club. All right, cool. Like, you know, like, you... Oh, no. Like, you, you had like, one of those scary moments when you met him at the club. And no one didn't meet him. Oh, you didn't, club, oh, you didn't meet no, him. I wasn't going to be with him at all. I was just, like, lying to him saying he, like, spent more money. But right. when it was time for me to go, he was outside. Wait. Like, he waited for three hours outside. Like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. So, I literally had to... They had to take my car to the gas station. It was, like, a gas station next to the club. Yeah. And I had to go to the gas station. And they had to pull my car from behind, and I was like run out the, the, the like the side door and then get in. Oh my god! I was god. like, did he come back the next night? No, he had oh, ended up texting god. me, and he was like, "Oh, I was waiting for you, but I had a block to him because that's scary." No, like, that why is scary. Like, why are you outside waiting? Hours? Yeah, that's not normal. You could be here spending more money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That part, that whole part, yes, that, that whole entire part of you could right. be spending more money. That's three hours. That could have been at least what another hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. You know, fifty dollars tip an hour every. Right. Shoot, stop playing. Yeah, but I've had I've had those stalker situations too. They can so get scary. So what was your like scariest moment? I had somebody follow me home, and then I, they were jerking off at my doorknob. I have a whole story time on that. Oh my god! Yeah, like followed me all the way to the house. Like scary, scary business. I was like, what the hell? And he had a, he had a history of doing this too before. But the scariest thing I've ever like witnessed and heard about was a, a girl that she had a customer buy her a pair of titties, mm-hmm. and he wasn't. She was just like she broke up with him like a few months after he bought the titties. He showed up at her job when she came out of work. He pulled her in the back of her trunk, cut off her titties, oh put, her in, put her in the trunk of the car and set the car on fire. She died? Of course, and she died. And he took the breast implants home. That is so sad. Yeah, that's scary, right? It's like, wait, what? Because I had, I never bought, 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 bought uh, I've never bought, right? I'm all stuttering because I'm like, wait, what? I've never bought a pair of titties in my life. 
These were both from like dudes trying to take care of my ass. Oh my yes, girl, it happens. Edit that. She's like, you better not put that shit in the video. <laughs> She's like, look. <laughs> <laughs> you guys listen i had a really great time with it was so fun yes lavish lady yes. yes follow her on instagram you guys are always showing her love you guys they spam you huh they you guys are notorious for that yes yeah, she really does she's like look nina your kisses came right on over so you guys thank you so much for showing her support if you come to g5 she will be one of your bartenders yes autumn bones you, i'm not eating this you can go ahead mm-hmm so you guys come and check her out at G5. She's yes. here two or th maybe three or four times a week or something yeah, like that. No stalkers, please. No stalkers, please. please. No stalkers. Unless you spend some. Yeah, spend a lot of money. A lot. You better come with the much some money, okay? Exactly. Come with this money, you guys. So until next time, kisses. Tell my kisses. Stay positive. Stay strong. Love you guys. Bye, guys.